Hello guys and I hope you're well. Welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be covering a full day of eating with the method of flexible dieting and also it's going to be covering how to undulate your calorie content to allow for more calorie content at the weekend and still adhere to your diet. I hope you guys like this video and if you do make sure you drop it a like and also hit the subscribe button. Cheers guys. So guys, I start every single morning with a cup of coffee. You always need to caffeinate yourself first thing in the morning, what I especially do. It's Sunday today, it's about, about quarter past seven. I'm about to go off to the gym as I've got a couple of personal training sessions to do. Um, and then I will go through my first meal after that due to the fact that I don't normally eat breakfast. I'm not a massive breakfast fan. Um, I never really have been, to be honest. Um, so I don't normally, on a training day, I'll probably consume my first meal around about 10, 11-ish. But then I don't normally eat my first meal on a non-training day to around about one or two. Um, due to the fact that I'm just not really hungry. Um, I get much more hungry in the evening. You'll see that today, guys, with regards to what I eat and what sort of times I eat it. But um, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee now before I go. Um, and I will check in with you guys um, once I've finished with the PT sessions, see you guys in a bit. So we are all done for the day with PT, you know, just leaving the gym now. Um, gonna go home, sort some food out, trying to find out what I want to eat. I have no idea what I actually want. Um, plan the evening meal, find out what Nikki wants for dinner, and then go from there. So I always plan my biggest meal first. Uh, so the evening meal, due to the fact it's gonna be the most highest calorie content meal, and then work backwards essentially, and then making sure they get my protein content in. So guys, what is a daily undulating deficit and how do we use it within someone's diet? So basically what it is, is allowing an individual to have a select few days of a higher calorie content, even while dieting, but then what we do within those calorie content is reduce the rest of the week's calorie content to ensure the weekly overall total calorie content is still within the deficit. This way, an individual can still adhere to their diet while attending social events due to the fact they're gonna have a higher calorie content on those select few days. So I've written up a case study here. We'll go through it now in a little bit more detail to give you guys a little bit more of an insight on how it would actually work in practical terms. So the case study I've done, I've done it on a whiteboard here to so make it a little bit more easier for you guys to see and everything like If you can see it properly, I hope you can. Um, is going to be a individual, so a male individual who is maintenance cal calorie content is 3,000 calories, okay, a day. So we put him on a 500 calorie deficit. So now his average calorie content every single day is going to be 2,500 calories, okay? That's essentially how it would normally work. Um, so then basically what that would mean is his weekly total calorie content is going to be 17,500. But the issue with this is, this, the, my, this client here, so this case study, this male individual is going to struggle at the weekends due to he's very social, he likes to go out for dinners, he likes to go out for drinks, all this sort of bits and bobs, he enjoys Sunday lunch with his family, and it's gonna be very hard for him to adhere to his diet with regards to hitting 2,500 calories due to the fact that he's probably most likely going to over consume. So this is a great way for us to utilize daily undulating deficits to ensure this individual is still gonna adhere to his diet. So let's go through it in a little bit more detail. So. Basically, what we've done is given him, a, on Saturdays and Sundays, a higher calorie content. So, if you can see here, Saturday and Sunday, I've given him, sorry, it's very messy, I'm a very messy writer. So, Saturday and Sunday, I've given him 3,500 calories, okay? And then on Monday, sorry, so this essentially means that he is a lot more calorie content on a weekend, so it can be much more likely to be adhering to his diet. So, on Monday and Friday, during the week, He's going to be on a much harsher deficit, so much more well, severe deficit, where he's going to be on 2,100 calories. Okay, so the reason why this will work is because we have to make sure that his weekly average calorie content is still perfect, and we're going to make sure it is. So, 2,100 calories, so during the week, Monday and Friday, times by five, it's going to be 10,500. Okay. And then, so during his weekend when he's on a higher calorie content, it's going to be 3,500 calories, okay? You times that by two, it equals 7,000, all right? 
10,500 plus 7,000 is going to equal 17,500. Um, 17, so that's making sure so that still is adhering to his weekly total calorie content of 17,500. So this way, this individual can hit a much higher calorie content at the weekend, but lower calorie content in the week and still adhere to his diet. So this is where daily undulating deficits are perfect for making an individual with social life, with enjoy social occasions, all this sort of bits and bobs, still would here into their diet while in a calorie deficit. I hope this helps guys. If anyone's got any questions regarding this, please feel free to drop me a message in the comment section below. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Cheers. So I'm just about to have meal one. Meal one literally just gonna be a protein shake. Um, yeah, literally just a protein shake, protein shake and water. Oh, hello, Nicky. Um, the reason behind this is, so normally on a non-trained day, so today is going to be a non-trained day, I would normally utilise intermittent fasting, so I wouldn't have my first meal to around about two to two or three, uh, well, well like one, two or three, but um, today as I've used daily undulating deficits with regards to my nutrition, um, I've banged 4,000 calories for today, and if I don't get some food in now, I'm going to really struggle getting it all in later, so I'm going to have a bit of protein now, get my protein content up, make sure I do get that in today, and yeah, so I will show you the meal now. So yeah, we've got um, whey isolate. This flavor is unbelievable. Highly, highly recommend this. Um, they sell it in protein picker boots and it is fantastic. Um, just a bit of water and some, and a blender. And I'll be ready in three, two, one. And here we have it, meal number one. It's so sunny today, obviously, when we go to the shops, we obviously walk because neat is life, isn't it? Oh yeah. Neat is life, so we aim for 10,000 steps a day and just doing like little walks around and walking through shops helps out massively. So yeah, that's why we end up always walking, don't we? We do. But yeah, um, off to Morrison's, get some food, go home, cook some lunch. So meal number two is about to go down, so this is going to be lunch. I'm going to have 150 grams of chicken, I'm going to have 100 grams of veg, uh, I just use frozen veg as it's a lot easier. I'm going to have um, 150 grams of the sauce, this is the tomato and chilli one, it's absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to go for a 150 grams of pasta, yes yeah, so that is meal number two and it will be on the screen in three, two, one. Here we have it, meal number two. Um, so this is essentially lunch, what time is it now? Half past one. I've got, like I said, chicken, um, pasta, tomato sauce and veg. Nikki's got the exactly the same. Here she is. With like a kilo of parmesan on top. Obviously I'm not having that. And with that I've got a um, Lucas Aid Zero. Tastes absolutely fantastic. And let's put some sriracha, I think that's how you say it, a uh, sauce on top. So, I'm going to enjoy this now. So we're going for a quick walk along the Ashdown Forest now. It's such a beautiful place to come for a walk on a Sunday, especially in this weather. It's like nice and crisp, but nice and sunny. Um, so yeah, we're just getting some steps in, do this, get some fresh air and head back home. So we are back from the walk now and I've just eaten my final snack of the day before dinner that I forgot to record, which essentially is very bad, especially this is a full day of eating, but it was a total phage 0% yogurt, which is a fantastic high protein snack and I highly recommend for anybody who's struggling to get the protein content in, having one of them, they're fantastic and they're really tasty. Um, so yeah, that's the last snack before my Domino's pizza tonight. Also got a pudding as well, but don't worry guys, I have factored it into my calorie content and it's my protein content is perfect, it's perfect as well, so that's good. Um, regarding my nutrition at the moment, basically I'm just following a maintenance caloric content due to the fact that I've got tendonitis in my shoulder and I don't want to be over consuming any caloric content, I don't want to be under consuming. Um, I just want to be following a maintenance calorie content um, and keeping protein content nice and high as well. So I'm hitting around about 2.5 grams per kilo of protein per day. So yeah, that's a little insight regarding my nutrition um, and essentially what I've done is 
undulating my caloric content during the week, so essentially ate less during the week to allow for more food over the weekend. Um, just because I prefer, I like to eat more through the weekend and more social, and yeah, it's a bit nicer, isn't it? Um, but yeah, guys, I'll check in with you guys when I'm just about to eat my pizza. So here we have it, the final meal, the treat, and the, what we've been waiting for all day. Half pepperoni passion and half, I can't remember what it's called, one like meaty one, but it's got like chorizo and all that sort of stuff on it. It's fantastic, a large classic crust. And then for pudding, I have got two caramel chocolate shortbread things, which look fantastic. So very excited to get into this. So there you go guys, that is a full day of eating complete. I've hit a total of, you want to put to focus, I still don't understand how to use these cameras yet. I will get better than them, I promise guys. But I hit a total of 4,000 calories and 221 grams of protein, so my targets were hit perfectly, which is good. So yeah, basically guys, that was just a full day of eating um, and a little bit more information regarding daily undulating calorie content. If you've got any questions regarding any of the topics covered today, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. If you've liked the video and enjoyed it, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys.